Now that we have installed VS Code multi-cursor extension, it's time to explore some of these default keyboard shortcuts. So in this lesson we're going to review some of these keyboard shortcuts. Let's open up VS Code. And the first keyboard shortcut will be for marking certain characters where we'd like to create cursors. So to highlight certain characters, we have to press MCL. Let's do it a couple more times. Firstly, we have to position the cursor on a particular character and press MCL. And then to convert those highlights into multiple cursors, we have to press MA or MI. Then besides highlighting characters, we can also highlight whole words. So to put highlighting on the whole word, we have to press MC, I, W. In the same way, we can also highlight content within single quotes by moving cursor inside these single quotes and pressing MC, I, single quote, like this. And after we are ready to create multiple cursors, let's press MI and we can start editing. So now I'm going to highlight a couple of regions again to demonstrate the next keyboard shortcut. And this shortcut will allow us to navigate between highlighted regions. So to go to the previous highlighted region, we have to press opening square bracket MC. And by doing this multiple times, we're going to navigate to the previous highlighted region. And to go forward, instead of opening square bracket, we have to press closing square bracket. MC. And in case we want to discard these highlights, we can press MCC. As was already mentioned in the previous lesson, besides using these keyboard shortcuts in normal mode, some of them also work in visual mode. So for example, let's switch over into visual block mode by pressing Ctrl V. And let's say I would like to put multiple cursors on these four lines. Firstly, I'm doing the selection in visual block mode by using the motion keys. And then to create multiple cursors on all these lines, so that every selected content will receive selection, we can press MI. And there we go, this way we end up in insert mode and can start editing. So these were the main keyboard shortcuts to create multiple cursors and multiple selections. But there are some other interesting keyboard shortcuts, which we're going to review in the next lesson, because those shortcuts require us to install another plugin. I'll see you in the next lesson.